Is it uh, recommended that one fasts the entire month of Sha'ban? As far as fasting in the month of Sha'ban is concerned, it's mentioned in Sai Bukhari, volume number three, in the book of fasting, hadith number 1969, Hadith Aisha, Milla she says that Prophet Muhammad used to never fast the full month except the month of Ramadan. And Prophet Muhammad never fasted more than any month as compared to the month of Shaban. This shows that Muhammad fasted the complete month, only the month of Ramadan. And after Ramadan, the maximum he fasted was in the month of Shaban, maybe preparing for the blessed month to come. That is the reason. And people have a misconception that you should fast for the half month of Shaban. There's no such hadith saying you should fast for the half month of Shaban. But there's hadith which is mentioned in Sunan Abu Dawood, volume number two, in the book of fasting, hadith number 2330, that the beloved Prophet Muhammad said that you should not fast after half the month of Shaban. So that means till the 15th of Shaban you can fast, after 16th you should not. And there's another hadith which is mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number three, Book of Fasting, Hadith number 1914, where the beloved Prophet Muhammad said that you should not fast one or two days before the month of Ramadan. Because these are the days of doubt, so you should not fast on these two days. So based on this Hadith, after the 15th, that is from 16th onwards, you should not fast, unless, the Hadith continues, that unless you are used to fasting the Nawafil fast, you're used to fasting the voluntary fast, maybe three days every month, that's the ayam ul bid, or you're used to fasting on Mondays and Thursdays or alternate days, it's accepted, otherwise, otherwise you should not. So this is what a person should fast in the month of Shaban as much as possible.